Monday night, Steve Burek officially made Fairfield University golf history when he became the first dad golfer to earn a berth to the NCAA championship. He is one of 10 individuals and 13 teams that will play in the regional May 16 to 18 at the home course of Louisiana State University, the University Club of Baton Rouge. The junior from Northeastern Massachusetts is excited for the challenge and to represent Fairfield University on the national stage. Obviously, I'm new to the program, so uh, to do it the first year here is a, is a great honor. Um, all the hard work paid off. It's very exciting to go compete for the MAC and for, represent Fairfield, and uh, looking forward to another good week. Burek earned the trip to the tournament as the individual champion of the 2013 Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference Championship in Florida. He shot a tournament record 208 at that event, winning the crown by five strokes at minus eight, and as the only player in championship history to shoot multiple rounds under 70. I think it all came down to really staying positive and staying in the present when I was out there. I didn't get ahead of myself. I think I was very calm all week. I had a lot of positive thoughts. I mean, I was hitting the ball great. I almost hit every fairway out there, so that doesn't hurt. 2013 MAC Coach of the Year Len Roberto said this NCAA trip has been a long time coming for the Stags and it will be a building block for the program. It shows where the program is, has progressed to. Um, it's going to help us in the future, uh, it's help my recruiting in the future. Uh, Steve's kind of set the standard for the kind of players that we're going to be bringing in from now on. Burke and Roberto will travel to Baton Rouge next Tuesday for a Wednesday practice round. The regional will be played over a three-day stretch with 18 holes each day. To advance to the NCAA championship in Atlanta, Georgia, Barack will need to capture the individual scoring crown at the regional. I can't wait to go represent our school and uh, hopefully put up some good numbers.